Hello everyone, my name is Heather Moorefield Lang and this is my YouTube channel Tech15 and today I'm going to be sharing with you a great tool that recently won the American Association of School Librarians Best Websites, a great digital storytelling tool called Storyboard That. Now Storyboard That can be used for storyboarding, it can be used for comics and comic strips, and it is a great tool to have your students break stories out to put together stories for film to have a visual component to their storytelling and it is a great and powerful visual communication tool so let me quickly show you how to get started storyboard that has a completely free level which is fairly basic and simple and then it also has a paid level of course you can create storyboards completely for free with no account or you can also have a teacher account a student account a class account it's completely up to you if you are interested in pricing and accounts if you look up here in the right hand corner you'll notice all of the information about pricing and accounts up there what I'm going to direct you to is creating a storyboard because you and your students can go and simply create a storyboard without any account without saving anything just creating a storyboard a three portion storyboard and you can create anything that you wish now I have worked with many storyboarding comic strip comic style tools and I will go ahead and tell you that nothing has as many options at this time as storyboard that if you look up here at the top you have all different types of scenes with all of your different options of indoor outdoor transportation locations then you can click on characters your text your shapes you can have web and technology if you'd like to drop some of those in then you can also upload other information and your own uploaded materials and they do recommend that you do not upload photos of children under 13 any offensive images or materials because this is very much a tool meant for younger people and folks of all ages but they definitely have an education plan they are meant for education they definitely have that heart for learning and how this can be used in the education field so let's say that I want to drop and drag three different scenes I'm gonna make this pretty easy I can choose anything I wish I could choose indoor and outdoor I could choose school and athletics I could choose transportation I can choose anything I want but I'm gonna keep it pretty simple today but as you can see all it is just drag and drop your scene if you don't like it you just get rid of it and you can take it away or you can delete it you can do anything that you wish if you don't like it just click on the X and you can just drag it right back over I can rotate it I can turn it around if I want folks to be upside down I could do anything I wish from here I'm going to grab my characters I specifically liked the silhouettes because I liked everybody kind of standing in line you'll notice that they're kind of large but I'll keep them small here at the moment and I'll put some larger ones here and some folks stand on the corner here I could put any characters in I could have cultural characters, I could have different jobs, I could have kids and teens, I could have monsters and myths, I could have anything that I wanted. It is completely up to me what I am interested in having. And as I said before, Storyboard That offers such a wide range of characters and options and information. It's all up to me what I would like my storyboard to look like. And from here I can drop in my text. So maybe I would like to have text right here. I can say, what is that? And of course that's a little big. Don't want my voice box to be that much bigger than my people. Then I can drop in another voice box. And so on and so forth. From here, if I like, I could add cells if I wish. Now in your free option, you only have so many options of how many you can have. You can have three in one, two in one, one in one, if you wanna have just one storyboard. In the paid version, you can have many more options. You can change your cell size, you can move your cells around. And then if I would like to save anything that I'm working on, this is where you do actually have to create an account. It's very quick, it's very easy. You can log in socially with Google or Facebook or Twitter. Office 365 if you have it or you can create a class account or your own individual account as a teacher you can have a username email password it is up to you and as I said they also have options for premium plans along the lines for teachers and educators but this is also just a lot of fun for in the moment your students can create all sorts of storyboards and ideas and they can also do screenshots and save what they have created simply by what they've done here 
on Storyboard That. So I highly recommend checking this out. It's a great tool for storyboarding, comic strips, storytelling, planning things out visually. Great tool. I thoroughly enjoy it. Thank you so much for checking out this video, and we will have many more to come here at Tech 15. Thanks, and have a great day.